saxophonist, educator, uh, mentor, and the list goes on, but as far as today, I'm a musician. It all started in uh, a cold winter night, uh, December 1st, I would not say the year, uh, in Montreal, Rue La Pierre and Pascal. It's actually, right now, it's actually the hood, what you would consider the hood of Montreal, that's where I was born. And uh, upon that, you know, I'm a pastor's kid, a PK. And uh, my dad wanted me to learn an instrument to play for the church. So I proceed. I told him I wanted to play the piano. Uh, so when we got to the music school, I told uh, the, the teacher in charge. At the time, it was Obedru Bisson. I told him I want to play the, the piano or the organ. And he said, no, nah, I have too many pianists. I have too many organ players. You need to play something else. Just choose an instrument. There's a lot of instruments here. And then so he had a stand just like that. He had a stand with a bunch of instruments on it, like flute, clarinet, uh, soprano, alto. And I picked this one, the alto sax. So that's the one I started with. As you can tell, this is right now. So I'm playing all of them. <laughs> so I started, I chose the alto saxophone and I went on. When I started playing, I fell in love with it. It was supposed I was supposed to play just for the church assembly. But I ended up, you know, playing with different groups, you know, in the church setting. Needless to say, after that, I wanted to study more more of the saxophone i wanted to study more of music uh, this language um i decided to enroll at berkeley berkeley college of music which is um, a well-known uh, music school is what they call the mit of music so i decided to go to berkeley so now here we are i'm in berkeley uh, just studying studying music education and now, fast forward, push play. I'm here today, we're here in Montreal for the Jazz Festival about, uh, let's say, 15 years later, we're here. I just performed the past week that just went down. I perform. I had the pleasure to perform with uh, my mentor in chief, I call him, Kenny Garrett. Uh, I had the, 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 the delight to share the stage with a good friend of mine. We went to school together. Lionel Loweke uh, from Benet, uh, and then um, the Cherry on Top of the Sunday, um, I got to share and perform many times with Rafael Zaldivar, who's an upcoming uh, pianist here. Um, so I, I, got, I had the, the, the possibility to share with different musicians here at the Jazz Festival, and also I had my own show where I featured some of my friends, uh, fellows, fellows musician. Uh, it happened at the consulate, the consulate in Montreal, this brand new club that just opened. The owner, Yves de Lima, is a owner with a wide vision, great vision. And uh, he decided to open the club with Joey Omisil and friends. So it was, it was an honor and uh, it went really well. Uh, there's different styles of music that I like. You know, I'm 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 thoroughly influenced by by bebop. I first started playing classical music, but also I have a, a large part of my influences that come from jazz, hip hop, gospel music. You know, I grew up on those sounds. You know, Run DMC, Michael Jackson, Rest in Peace. Uh, I grew up on those kind of music. And as far as the saxophone, I was influenced at first by Kenny G. Not Kenny Garrett, Kenny G. 
And I say that with a smile because when you hear my sound, you don't think of Kenny G, but actually it was one of my main influences as I grew up. And then when I went to Berkeley, um, friends of mine, uh, you know, told me like, what are you doing listening to Kenny G? You need to listen to Kenny Garrett. I'm like, Kenny Garrett. Okay. So I checked out Kenny Garrett. Kenny Garrett is now my mentor and it's it's been a blessing throughout this journey so i had the the opportunity to um lay out some foundation in terms of where i want uh, the joey omicell sound uh to be heard or to be placed per se so I, I put out let's do this in 2006 which was a great sounding album for me it featured some of my friends um, Darren Barrett, Charles Ains, and the list goes on. Now, 2009, Roots and Grooves is coming out. Roots and Grooves is actually um, the story of my musical life. Why? Because Roots and Groove has um, elements from Africa. It has elements from uh, Cuba. It has elements from um, uh, Haiti. It has elements from Canada, where I'm from. It has elements from the United States. And I'm telling you, all those sounds are laid out. You know, I have um, a good friend of mine, Mawena Kojovi from Togo, that's on the album. By the way, before I went on to the list, the list is so long that I'm just going to abbreviate it like that. I have a double band in that CD, which means two drummers at some time. Two basses at some time, two guitarists, all playing simultaneously. So you have a, a band of, of, of eight members sometimes just playing at the same time, you know. And um, it's actually, it was recorded last year, which is, I'm, I'm give the date, which was 2008. And Joshua Redman came out with the double trio now in 2009. So we were ahead, Josh. Josh is actually a good friend of mine, so I'm giving him a shout out. Uh, but uh, it's going to come out now in 2008. It was recorded in 2008, coming out in 2009, I'm saying. And Roots and Groove is amazing. I have Emily Michelle, Lionel Luweke, Mama Wenako Jovi, Patrick, Andrea Tsialonica is from Madagascar. I got Francisco Mela from Cuba. I got Jeremy Pelt from the States. I got uh, Nadelka who's singing. She's from the States. Uh, I got just a bunch of people. Manny Lane, Konakatsu from Liberia. As you can see, it sounds from different parts of the world, which is why we call it world music. I've had um, throughout my journey the, the, the pleasure, the opportunity, the honor to, um, to perform with several great musicians. Um, I will name a few of them, and if I forget some of them, I'm thoroughly sorry, but the list is, is long, but it's been such an honor, and it's really, you know, it it's, it humbled me to say that list. Uh, Marcus Miller, which is an amazing musician, bass musician, producer, uh, Kenny Garrett, of course, my mentor, uh, Pharaoh Sanders, <laughs> legendary Pharaoh Sanders, um, Darren Barrett, uh, Richard Bona, uh, wow, Brentford Marsalis, Roy Hargrove actually went on tour with Roy Hargrove, amazing. And you know, in the world scene, Bitova Hoba, Howard Fustin, Emeline Michelle, and and the list goes on, as we said. So it's just it's just been an honor for me to perform with those giants of jazz. By the way, if you're an artist living in Montreal and you need your stuff to be done the right way, look what I'm doing. Check out, contact, get all of Push Play TV. If you don't, it's on you, but do it. Bosh, that means do it. <laughs>